Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's another fine day here in Kisumu. The weather is good. A bit sunny today, no rains. And I wanted to talk about something. Jimmy Wanjigi Railo Dinga Saga. Because you all know that Jimmy Wanjigi was arrested, spent the night in a police cell, and yesterday Jimmy Wanjigi was released. But no specific charge was preferred against him. And in his own words, Jimmy Wanjigi is blaming Ray Odinga and President Ruru Kenyatta for his arrest. And prior to Jimmy Wanjigi's arrest, you all know that uh, George Kinoti had a warrant, warrant of arrest which was actually occasioned by a court case filed by Jimmy Wanjigi. And I want to begin this video by asking a very simple question. And simple questions always demand for a very simple answer. A yes or no answer. My question is, is Raila Amolo Odinga behind the arrest of Jimmy Wanjigi? Just answer yes or no before we proceed. Is Raila Odinga behind the arrest of Jimmy Wanjigi? And if your answer is yes, please kindly explain. So in this video today, I want us to look at uh, Jimmy Wanjigi Railo Linga Saga. And I want to try and explain why personally I don't see how Railo Dinga can be behind Jimmy Wanjigi's arrest. Jimmy Wanjigi, those who believe that Jimmy Wanjigi was, uh, those who believe that Railo Dinga is behind Jimmy Wanjigi's arrest, Cite the fact that Jimmy Wanjigi wanted to challenge Raila Odinga for the presidency in ODM party. And I've always reminded them that the move by Jimmy Wanjigi to contest for the presidency in ODM party or to challenge Raila Odinga in ODM party was afterthought. ODM party announced in the dailies that anybody who wanted to contest on their ticket was supposed to submit their application. By the time that application was closed, I think that was in 2020, only two individuals had applied. That is Hassan Joho and the Kakamega governor, Wycliffe Ambetsa Paranya. So when Jimmy Wanjigi started running last year, and I did a video about it, I'm going to share the link, I knew clearly that Jimmy Wanjigi was up to something. In fact, I did a video about Jimmy Wanjigi's real mission. I don't want to get into the matter of Jimmy Wanjigi and the court case. Because one thing I know for sure is that Jimmy Wanjigi was arrested. And before his arrest, George Kinoti was also arrested. So personally, if you ask me, I strongly believe that the arrest of Jimmy Wanjigi is a revenge mission by George Kinoti. But before I give you my own opinion, for those who are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click subscribe button. So that anytime you produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And if you are already subscribed, the best thing you can do is to just give this video a thumbs up. That's the best way you can support this channel. Just give it a thumbs up. And you can also drop your comment for those who can. Now let us get back to the main issue. I don't want to go into the details about Jimmy Wanjigi, Ray Dinga, George Kinoti, the differences between Jimmy Wanjigi and Uru Kenyatta. Those are in public domain. I want to confine myself to politics. Is Raila Odinga behind Jimmy Wanjigi's arrest? I don't think Raila Odinga is behind Jimmy Wanjigi's arrest. But Jimmy Wanjigi is very bitter and very angry with Raila Odinga. Number one, the first thing which, is, which happened was the hardship. Jimmy Wanjigi was part and parcel of Raila Odinga's campaign in the last election. It is alleged he financed that campaign. Or contributed to it. Then when Raila Odinga emerged from Harambe House and with the Uru Kenyatta holding hands, there were several individuals who were not happy about that move within ODM party. One such individual was Jimmy Majigi. Jimmy Majigi was not happy because he was not involved. 
He believed that instead of Junet Mohammed being involved, he was the right guy to be involved. So from that moment up to now, Jimmy Wanjiki has never forgiven Raila Odinga. The same applied applies to Miguna Miguna. Miguna Miguna also became very bitter with Raila Odinga after the handshake. The same to David Ndi. In fact, the fallout between David Ndi and Raila Odinga is because of the handshake. They believed that if Raila Odinga were to enter into any handshake, then they ought to have been involved. So the handshake is what created the bad blood between Raila Odinga and Jimmy Wanjigi. And for those who have been following politics, from the time of the handshake up to now, Raila Odinga has never appeared in public meeting with Jimmy Wanjigi. So their differences can actually be traced to that point. So the first reason why Jimmy Wanjigi is better with Raila Odinga and is, uh, he was trying to challenge Raila Odinga and doing every other thing is because of the handshake. The second reason why is is bitter with Raila Odinga and is accusing Raila Odinga of all manner of things. And of course, being Raila Odinga is not an easy task in this country. The differences between Jimmy Wanjigi and Uhuru Kenyatta. Jimmy Wanjigi believes very strongly that Jubilee government was formed in his house. And the reason why Jimmy Wanjigi joined Raila Odinga, by the way, for those who don't know, is because of their differences with Uhuru Kenyatta. He fell out with Uru Kenyatta over the SGR deal. And after that fallout, as the norm, he joined Raila Molodinga. Just like those who have fallen out with Raila Odinga today are joining William Ruto's camp. That's exactly what happened to Jim Wanjigi. Jim Wanjigi fell out with the President Uru Kenyatta and then joined hands with Raila Molodinga to fight Uru Kenyatta. So when Raila Odinga was helping fight Raila Uru Kenyatta, then from nowhere there's this, this handshake. Jimmy Wanjigi had hoped that Raila Odinga was going to intervene or to reconcile them. Because, you know, Jimmy Wanjigi is a businessman. Big businessman in this country. Big tenders. Like SGR, he was, his sons was there and several others. So he had anticipated or hoped that Raila Odinga was actually going to, uh, to try and reconcile them with, with Uru Kenyatta. And what I've gathered is that when Raila Odinga tried to raise the issue of Jimmy Wanjigi with Uru Kenyatta, Uru Kenyatta was not very happy. He just said, no, we are not going to deal with that. So that differences between Uru Kenyatta and Jimmy Wanjigi and the lost business opportunities is the main reason why Jimmy Wanjigi is now very bitter with Raila Amolodinga. Number three, and this can inform you about his latest reaction. Jimmy Wanjigi had hoped to cause a lot of chaos in ODM Challenge Raila Odinga. So he announced his presidential bid. Then Jimmy Wanjigi started going around the country, popularizing his candidature. He started opening ODM offices, parallel ODM offices. So when Raila Odinga told his delegates, no, that's not going to happen, Jimmy Wanjigi found it very difficult to run with ODM. But Jimmy Wanjigi is realizing late that as much as he's trying to challenge Raila Odinga in ODM party, Raila Odinga is likely not to run as ODM presidential candidate. If BBI is going to go through, then Raila Odinga is going to contest, not as ODM, but is going to contest as Azimio Laumoja Movement Alliance or Coalition. That move by Raila Odinga caught Jimmy Wanjigi by surprise. And Jimmy Wanjigi is actually frustrated, and that's why you see him do whatever he's doing. Number four, why he is very bitter with Raila Odinga, and I've explained it before, is the fact that Jimmy Wanjigi and other former allies of Raila Odinga have been locked out of Raila Odinga's campaign. I once told you guys that the main reason why Jimmy Wanjigi was campaigning in ODM party was the fact that he was looking at opportunity. You know, sometimes you go outside there, then you are told, wait, hey, relax. Come work together. So Jim Wanjigi had hoped to work with Raila Odinga as a senior campaigner or maybe a campaign manager or to be involved in Raila Odinga's campaign. But Raila Odinga, and this I also explained to you guys, is very keen on the presidency. So Raila Odinga is trying to dis discard most of his former allies. He's locking his former allies from his campaigns. Raila Odinga is bringing new faces into his campaign. And because Jimmy Wanjigi has been locked out, he's not very happy with Raila Amolo Odinga. 
as it's not only Jimmy Wanjigi who has been locked out. Raila Odinga has locked out some of his key allies from his campaigns for 2022. He has a completely new team. He has crafted a team which very few people had actually predicted. The fifth reason why this is happening is because of political reasons. Let's face it. Jimmy Wanjigi is not a politician. And he cannot come from nowhere and just contest for the presidency. So Jimmy Wanjigi had some political objectives to achieve by attacking Raila Odinga by offering himself as ODM presidential candidate. Remember, Jimmy, Jimmy Wanjigi, by the time Jimmy Wanjigi was campaigning to be the ODM presidential candidate, by that time Jimmy Wanjigi was not even a registered member of ODM party. He was not a registered member of ODM party. So the main reason why he was contesting is to try, number one, to raise his profile as Jimmy Wanjigi. You know, when you aim at Trail Odinga, you'll definitely get the limelight. You know, Jim Wanjigi was arrested yesterday and he was like, Rail Odinga is a Judas, Rail Odinga is behind this, this thing because I want to challenge him. He's not giving any clear any clear information on how Rail Odinga can do that. Rail Odinga is not in government. He might be powerful, but he's not the arresting officer. He doesn't command anything. So Jim Wanjigi had to raise the, had to come up with the name of Rail Odinga to raise his profile. When he wanted to contest for the presidency, he had the option of going for another party because he was not even a member of ODM party. Even in the last election, you never saw Jimmy Wanjigi donning even an ODM t-shirt. He never did that. So basically, he wants to raise his profile. The other thing is, number two, is the running mate factor. Jimmy Wanjigi had hoped that after the handshake, the Red Odinga was going to contest for the presidency and the running mate was going to come from the larger Mount Kenya region. Jimmy Wanjigi comes from Muranga. Muranga has upper hand in who will be Raila Odinga's running mate. But from all indications, I think Jimmy Wanjigi has boxed himself out of the ring. So you can't find Jimmy Wanjigi anywhere where Raila Odinga is being discussed and his running mate. Because of that, Jimmy Wanjigi feels neglected, ignored. He's very bitter. Number three is Nairobi politics. You know, at some point, Jimmy Wanjigi started traversing Nairobi. The truth of the matter is that he had hoped that with a good support, he can negotiate. You contest for the presidency, you aim higher, but accept a lower landing. So he had hoped to, for example, contest as the Nairobi Bandurul, for the Nairobi Bandurul seat. And in this video, I once opined that Jim Wanjigi can actually be a governor in Nairobi. So, Red Odinga, as we speak, has identified a candidate for Nairobi. Either Timo Nyoni, or Ngatia. Jimmy Wanjigi is now out of equation. If you are Jimmy Wanjigi, what would you do? You will get angry. And lastly, is external factor. Actually, there are external forces pushing Jimmy Wanjigi to continue attacking Raila Odinga, to continue pursuing his presidential bid. You know, when Jimmy Wanjigi started campaigning for the presidency, the only place I know I remember him taking his track was in Nyanza. Then he was allowed, okay, go, go ahead. He disappeared. Today, Jimmy Wanjigi, the other day I saw Jimmy Wanjigi in um, Ukambani with the Kalonzo Musioka. And during that event, he stated that were it not for Raila Odinga, they would have been president. Raila Odinga would have been, uh, Kalonzo and Raila would have been president. I don't know how that was possible. I don't know. But the truth of the matter is that Jimmy Wanjigi has a past with Raila Odinga. And that past with Raila Odinga is not sitting well with him because of their fallout. Let me hear your thoughts on this. And again, for those who are watching for the first time, click subscribe button. Subscribers, I want to thank you guys so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. My only request, please give this video a thumbs up. Bye-bye. And by the way, Raila Odinga is in Korea. Can Korea vote for Raila Odinga? I just noted that uh, the MC for that event was none other than Marwa. <laughs> Politics is an interesting game. Maybe I need to do an analysis on that. Until that time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.